Electronic Sounds Audio, the YouTube channel for you. Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Dean from Electronic Sounds. Stick around. Today we're going to be checking out the new Crush Station plugin from Eventide Audio. It's available for desktop, for iPhone, and also for iPad. Today we'll be checking it out on an iPad. I'm going to be running a lot of different kinds of audio through it so that you're going to get a really good idea of what it sounds like and what it will do for your sound. Come on, let's get into this. The first example today uses a simple beat from the Digistix drummer app from Four Pockets. We're going to run that with a sub bass 808 bass line from the Audio Kit sub bass 808 plugin. We're going to run all of this into the Crush Station from Eventide, and then we're going to run that into an instance of Pump House from Audio Damage to get a little bit of a sort of a sidechain pumping effect on this bass groove. Let me go ahead and show you what this sounds like. You may have noticed me using the ribbon controller that's built into these plugins in that last example. Let me go ahead and show you how to set this up so that you can program different customizations to the controls using this ribbon controller. It's very simple to use. All we need to do is just click the button on the left and this is going to set the state of where the knobs will be when the ribbon slider is all the way to the left. So let's say that on this particular preset we'd like to drive to be really mellow when we're out uh, got the ribbon slider all the way to the left and we want the drive to be say all the way to maximum 100 when we move the slider all the way to the right so to set the value at the bottom we just little click the little button here and we set the value we can set this to zero if we want to be super dramatic and then we can press the button on the right and we're going to you know move whichever knobs we want to move so that when the ribbon slider moves it sets the destination of where they're going to be at just as long as the buttons are highlighted you can set the end point for the knob and the beginning point for the knob so that when we move the ribbon slider it moves the knobs according to what you've got set so let's say you don't want the drive knob to be this extreme when you're moving the ribbon right you can just press the left button and you can make it maybe I don't know about 60% drive and now when the ribbon is at the max you've got a hundred percent drive and when the ribbon is all the way to the left we've got it set down to 60. You can do this for any and all of the knobs on every single preset that you make and customize inside a crustacean. I've got out my Zox box and what this is is this is a Roland TB303 emulator so it's got that acidy sound. We're going to run this into arm and we're going to run this into the crush station effect. It makes some pretty magic things happen to this sound. I'm going to give you some examples of this. Let's check this out. <laughs> It takes a lot of work and energy to make all these videos. If you've been enjoying my content, I'd like to encourage you to support the channel by clicking the little like button under this video right here. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for your support.
Another handy tool that they've got built into the crush station is this mix lock icon over here. And what this does is like the mix input here over the uh, amount of mix you're sending into the crush station is going to change a little bit depending on which particular preset you're using. And what this mix lock will do is it'll lock the mix wherever you've got it. So if you've got this mix uh, at 100% dry wet and then you're scrolling through, you know, the rest of the uh, built-in presets to crush station, it will keep the mix at 100% dry wet for all of these presets that you're scrolling through. Or say if you're doing some sort of a parallel distortion and you're running maybe 50% dry wet mix, if you got the lock engaged, then that will stay at 50% dry wet mix as you scroll through the presets and it won't change. Whew, I think it sounded really great on the Zox box. So what I've done now is I've loaded up the Troublemaker 303 emulation from Brambos on the iPad, and we're gonna run that through some custom presets on the crust station that I've put together that really bring out the harmonics and show what this thing can do using just an iPad alone and not using external hardware. <laughs> I want to show you just how absolutely filthy Crush Station can sound and how it can absolutely take a sound and literally absolutely just crush it. I'm going to switch over to direct sound and we're going to check out what it sounds like when I play one of my custom Ruse Maker Noir presets through it. I've actually got a pack of custom presets for Ruse Maker Noir and I'm going to put a link to that video up in the corner here so you can check those out if you've got Ruse Maker Noir as well. Check out what this sounds like. You might have also noticed this hot switch button over here, which if I press it right now, it doesn't actually affect anything on the screen. But what we can do is we can use the hot switch very similarly to how we're using the ribbon controller on this plugin. And we can set it up so when it's in an off mode, the knobs are in a certain position, and when it's on an on position, the knobs are in a different position, so that we can literally use this hot switch to click on and off different knob settings inside of the effect. Let me go ahead and show you how to get that set up. All we have to do is long press on the hot switch button until it starts blinking. And now all we need to do is set the effect of the switches where we'd like them to be when the effect is on the on position. So what we maybe can do is say let's uh, bring this drive way down, maybe bring the distortion way up, and maybe bring the bass up, the mids down, change the frequency, just change a bunch of these settings, right? And now if we click the knob again, it's going to be in the on position, but as we click it one more time now the knob is in the off position and these knobs here will default back to where they were a moment ago now when I click the hot switch it's gonna immediately switch all those knobs to where I set them when it, the hot switch icon was blinking and so again now we can use this to just turn things on and off with the click of a button rather than using the slider to gently slide and move the knobs gently this is a dramatic shift boom, boom kind of thing where you can literally make dramatic changes with just the click of this hot switch button. Super useful.
Okay, so there's a preset in here called Early 2000s Vocal Solo. So you better believe we're going to get the mic out and see what this sounds like. Check it out. Okay, I am definitely not a singer, so I apologize in advance. But I definitely think that you should hear what this does to vocals, because I think it's pretty amazing if you're looking for that distorted vocal sound. And everybody tries to take away what I feel inside and what I see today. But you know what I tell them? You gotta be like Bruce Lee. And everybody always taking too much. Cause you're a little too late can't make you give up. So you know what I tell them? You gotta be like Bruce Lee. So we've heard Crush Station on some melodic content, and we've heard what Crush Station sounds like on the human voice. But I wanted to see what Crush Station sounds like on some kick drum sounds. I found a preset called All the Details, and I'm running some kick drums from my Electron Digitank sample packs into the Crush Station. Let's see what this does to kick drums. It sort of takes a distorted and fat and overly round kick drum and sort of does what it says. It sort of brings out all the details. Let's check this out. There's a preset inside of Crush Station that's called Cassette Tape, and it really delivers what it promises, and it can give you a really neat lo-fi sound if you run an entire mix through it. Let me show you what that sounds like when I run a little groove from the Digitac through that preset. Okay, so what's my verdict on the Crush Station from Eventide Audio after having played with it for a few hours? Friends, I think they've done it again with this one. It really sounds fantastic and I think is absolutely a must-have if you're doing any type of sound design at all on the iPad. You can really get some wonderful tones with this and it really does a lot to your existing audio. I hope you guys have found this useful and until next time, thanks for watching. I embrace diversity, I embrace uh, this open mindset towards music where uh, it doesn't matter where the music comes from, just take it all in, create it with an open mindset and just be yourself. yourself. Just be yourself. Support your homies. Support your